All right, as you guys can see, there's no, uh, there's nobody around here. <laughs> My camera's hella messing up because they don't want me recording. But they're making this shit like so hard to like record at night. Like, look at the lights. Look at how they look. Like, you can't even fucking record shit. Like, if anything happens, you know what I mean. At night, you don't even don't expect your camera to to have your back and shit. Because of these fucking weak ass people You know Like as soon as I get close enough to this This tree right here I'm gonna fucking be Like blind and shit With no fucking sight Like my last video I'm just gonna play it right now But this is literally Happening right now I'm gonna play it for you guys So I don't have to uh so I don't have to upload two videos. But there's a dude right there and he's sitting in his car. He has his window open. We'll get a little bit more closer. I want to get this dude's license plate, but... I don't know, he's like the only fucking cat right here. Like, And it happens to be close to us. Like, what's the coincidence and shit? That these fucking coward ass fucking people are just sitting right here, not doing shit. It's like, it's hard to ever find somebody that's just not fucking, you know, on your nuts and shit. Trying to fucking be all up in your fucking business. So, I don't know. There's fucking no businesses out here. What the fuck is somebody fucking doing out here, blood? You know? Go fucking home to your fucking children your fucking fake ass wife or whatever and yeah so let me show you and there's a fucking pathetic Anyways, you get the gist of it, but we're going to take account that this black truck is parked right here so we know. And we're going to have to, next time we're going to have to uh, pretty much go introduce ourselves and, and give them our YouTube channel and just give them information about gang stalking and if they know what it is. So that kind of like, it's a, in a friendly way not to be, you know... Like, because somebody could park there. That's the thing, you know. Anybody can park around you. It's just that we get these coincidences way too much around, you know, places that we're staying or whatever the case. There, There's always some fucking stupid-ass perp outside of our house. It just doesn't... It's not right when it comes down to being around us. It's just they're they're being paid to do these things, so... You can't really do anything about it because, you, know, you know, there's a... I, I am a person that freaking is for people's rights. So people have the right to do whatever they want as long as it's not causing you, you know, like if they're not doing any harm to you, whether it be mentally, 
physically as long as they're not doing anything like that stressing you out gang stalking you then i support people being able to do whatever they want but if they're involved in that shit i don't support it at all so so yeah um next time i'm just gonna get his license plate like casually do it go up to his car hand him my youtube channel and uh and then tell him if he knows about gang stalking just give him a little bit of info get his car there there's a con there's a you made contact with that person you know who they are you've seen them and then you know i have my camera glasses too so if i wanted to put them um on film then i will on my camera glasses and i can link that too so um so yeah so i don't have to like cause any confrontation because you know i could fucking boobop all of these perps if i wanted to but there's no point to do that you just you want to prove your case that's the whole thing that you're trying to do so you're documenting so this is monday may 25th and as you can see this dude is still he's still parked out there all right so you guys can see that And I believe it's a it's a a Chevy. That's the one that has. The, I think it is a Chevy. Yeah. So we're just gonna document this. And it is 11:33 p.m. And um, also I'm going to be documenting a lot of stuff uh, when I'm getting targeted, how they're targeting me. I'm just gonna start writing writing like a memoir, but like kind of like documenting just everything 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 i'm experiencing everything so that i could have some evidence of taking evidence of what's happening um because you know maybe one day we might be able to bring this to light and we'll have all this trail of evidence that we you know so So just right now, I just confirmed um, that this guy does security right here, and I introduced myself and uh, and and whatever. But I, I didn't have my uh, my papers with my channel on it. But I'm gonna find them tomorrow, and I'll be giving one to him. Uh, but the car that was parked behind him that you seen leave in the video for sure that was a perp. But a lot of these people, they you know. They work and try to pretend like they're doing security or doing whatever and they're actually being placed there because they need to keep an eye on you it's not it's it's just like a coincidence like nobody ever did security here before and all of a sudden they're starting to so it's kind of suspicious but um if you ever have problems with that all you got to do is just you you can call like if you have if you're posted up somewhere you know see this isn't stuff that we would actually do like before in the past we don't have to like resort to this but if there's some suspicious ass fucking perps that are lingering you know call and report suspicious activity so simple as that um But yeah, like I said, I'm going to start documenting everything, uh, all my attacks, um, you know, the dates, just writing it down on a, on a paper. And um, and then once you get enough filled out on that paper, try to like put it away if you're not saving it on a computer um, and like in a storage or a safe place so that you don't lose it because... I'm pretty sure if you start doing that, like, it, they'll try to make you, you know, they'll steal it or, or, you know, you can might lose it or something. So try to, like, you know, if you get halfway through the book, you know, put that stuff away and then, you know, start a new book and then try to, like, save that information. If it's on a computer or whatever, keep it on the SD card or portable hard drive or whatever. 
and then you know save it to your computer save it to your hard drive make two copies of it so you can always you know have it send it to your email and then when you update it you know you just can update it easily um but it, it was cool. Um, I have some some pictures uh, of uh, me and my family. We're doing some uh, Dang, it's way dark. What the heck, dude? It's like way brighter than this. Like what I can see in my eyes, this is not even dark. Like you can see the light from that window right there to the left, like kind of. Let's see, hold on. You see how it's light more on the on the window? Oh, I just had a flyby, a helicopter was passing by. And you wanna document those too. Um where you're at at the time the helicopter passes and stuff like that but I was at I was doing a uh, I was doing a uh, I was helping up my uh, my freaking uncle uh, we did all this whole room all the drywall all the inst insulation and all that stuff we did all this me and uh my brother and uh it was cool spending time over there like uh i wasn't getting hit as much as i do like at the house that i was living at but um anywhere that you go set up like if you go and they know that you're gonna be living there once you sign that lease or once they know that you're gonna be somewhere they'll start moving in per pass neighbors uh they'll have to move the satellite you know, because we all have a satellite, if you didn't know. They'll have, a, they'll have to move the satellite, uh, redirect a bunch of uh, weaponry pretty much toward you, start uh, putting these systems up in neighbors, uh, you know, houses and stuff to mess with you when you sleep or even just keep track of you during the day. Um, so once they get that all set up, like I said, I'm going to be buying a freaking um like a van or something i don't care what it is but i'm gonna be you know they can't they can't mess with you if you know you go park out somewhere you can buy a tent whatever you have to do like as long as you're not in a freaking electrical home or electrical freaking uh apartment complex like these people can target the shit out of you so the only thing i can think of is you know being mobile and, uh, and then you'll be able to get way more of better of a peace of mind. Um, even if I got a shit in the woods, whatever I got to do, you know, uh, to get a peace of mind. But, uh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, we got somebody parked right there. If I could focus this in. So they're literally parked, just sitting there. And I bet you, yep, see, they already know. They know when you're recording, and they'll leave, like little puppets that they are. Yeah. Easy. Anyway, I'm not ashamed. I have to resort to moving out of my house because... I know that they're going to keep messing with me there and I'd rather have the peace of mind to have control of the situation than to just let these weak ass people keep on like trying to do whatever they're trying to do. I mean, they're not going to break us. That's all I know. They're, you know, keeping us from just like the enjoyment of life, but living a life a comfortable life not the enjoyment of life because i still get joy out of exposing these fucking weak ass people i still get joy for people seeing that i'm keeping it real keeping it you know 100 with them like 
I enjoy talking to people. I enjoy a lot of things. I enjoy a bunch of stuff. So like, especially spending time with the Most High and like talking about God is like one of the things I love to do. And I enjoy that as well. So, hold up. So yeah, um, there's a lot of things of enjoyment and they try to steal that from you. They want to take your attention off of the Most High, obviously. And they want to put that attention on worldly things like the people gang stalking you they want you to take your attention off of god and put it in man or the world or sin or whatever drama they want you to be focused on that once you see their schemes um you start to realize it but it's hard to deal with it you know to like automatically turn to god and everything because it gets hard and your faith gets tested because you know you're being constantly tested and sometimes you wonder why that this is happening to you and um you lose faith or whatever my my faith was tested a long time ago but i will never turn my back on god i'll always forever thank him even through my trials you know i'm grateful because he's shown me so much and allowed me to experience um so many things including love love for others love for my enemies all kinds of wonderful things and um i'm truly grateful to him and i'm gonna keep on praising his name and glorifying him because um he's gonna get me out of this like he's gonna give me the strength to fight against these people and i've already done so much and caused these people so much money and so much time like it's just they're never going to change. They're they're always going to be little puppets. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean that we need to be like them or or give them our energy. You know what I mean? Try to try to focus on any little things that make you happy, whatever they are. Focus on them, protect them, try to build a strong infrastructure of of whatever you can do. Any little things that you can make yourself feel more secure, you have to do it. Just know that being in the house in this dirty electricity that they're feeding us um you have to think of other ways to survive even if it has to be that you would have to get like a rv or whatever um it'd be a lot better and you can shield it you can do anything you know with your mobile home and you don't have to depend on paying rent you don't have to depend on nosy ass neighbors i mean people they can park around you and stuff like that but they have to take time out of their day to do that now and now um you're not in a, a apartment where it's infested with wi-fi and and you know all these other energies that are being focused at you you can have solar energy you can you can do a lot of things you have to if you want if you want peace you have to fight for it all right if you want freedom you have to fight for it it's just that's how it, what it's come to now. It's not, oh, well, it, we're never going to have it. No, trust me. I've had a lot of uh, success, progress, fighting back. Um, Since I've documented things and, you know, a lot of these perps, they have really backed off. Because they know that I document well. I, I, I know how to explain and I know how to show what's happening. So if you know, if you do these things, eventually, you know, people are going to see that your gang stalking is, is real. And that's one big thing that they don't want you to have is people acknowledging that it can be real. Because then you start getting support from others. And then once that happens, then they're kind of their whole infrastructure starts to collapse. So you have to be strong. You have to be smart. And you have to expose them. And they don't want you uploading videos. Even if you have no subscribers, as long as you're uploading it to the web, to YouTube, whatever, any freaking website, <laughs> these people do not want that. Trust me. And they don't want to be filmed. They don't want to, you know, to be on camera or whatever. So put their asses on camera. Put them on blast. Freaking expose them to the world because they're exposing us supposedly you know for whatever reason trying to expose us for being 
normal up, upstanding human beings and they're trying to make us look like the bad guy when really they're the sick ass people the the sick ones that are doing these things to to people that that do not deserve it so that's what you expose and you show people the truth and then you know you give people your channel you freaking print copies pass it out to people do whatever you want and these cowards they'll start to hit your heart they'll start to destroy your body cuz i wasn't getting uh attacks because they were too busy um you know controlling my rnm and and trying to get a good feed um you know locked down to my brain that's that's the time that they were spending since i kept giving them a hard time kept using shielding you know but uh that kept uh not prevailing but it, it it gave them a hard time and they would get past it but they had to take the time and effort to do that and so you know and then you know so they got tired of doing that and and you know they had to build this whole infrastructure around me but i i helped them improve their their crap against myself not knowingly but i did and i don't care i mean i'm gonna beat them no matter what even blindfolded two hands tied behind my back i'm not gonna give up um and i'm gonna find a way and i already know a few things that have worked and are still working ceramic like i said anything that's close to ceramic material marble i don't know uh i i know i'm using marble there's uh there's other stuff you can use as well and uh, there's a cop right there. He doesn't like what I gotta say. Uh, he just sped by. Um, marble is a really good thing. Um, so I'm protecting my heart with that. Uh, my brother had, he was doing a job and happened to come buy some materials. And I took advantage of that. And I just, I got some marble for myself. And now these weak ass people, um, it's harder for them to attack us so if you ever move into your house this is the best information that i can give you put a uh, tile on on the floor on all the floors um don't have carpet or don't have wood i think ceramic is your best bet um and uh you could even you can even buy like some and put it under your bed or whatever build a freaking uh a flat surface of it whatever you got to do i got so many ideas but i'm gonna i'm gonna get to it i haven't tried the skull uh, the bone conduction headphones yet i'm thinking about it um i'm gonna build a faraday cage you know in the car that i get uh, i'm gonna build and then i'm gonna ground it to the ground with a with a, a copper pole and ground it directly to the ground that's the best way to ground not with a freaking plug. I don't trust that shit. You got to ground directly with a grounding cord to the floor. All right, I'm going to be talking about a lot of this stuff. These people are not going to hold me back until the day that I'm gone. It's it's never going to happen. All right. They could try all they want. The gang stalking doesn't work. I already gotten over that shit. They could follow me all they want. I could give a shit. The the part that is that you have to fight is blocking them out, blocking them from making money, stopping them at all costs. That's the second cop car that passed. Oh, wait, is that a cop car? Oh, no, it's not. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's, there's ways you can do this. So, I'm here to help. If anybody wants to call or talk or I can share information, um, I'm not afraid of these people anymore. Like I said, I put my phone number out there. I put my email out there um, because I'm not afraid anymore. Um, like they instead of them, like, you know, be, instead of me being in fear, like because I was in I was in a state of mind where I was being hindered and I couldn't trust anybody and stuff like that. I didn't have fear. But I was, um, I was in doubt. I was in a different, a lot of different stages through this stuff. But the, 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 what ended up happening is that they kept on thinking that 
you know, I was going to be afraid. And it just empowered me like beyond belief where once I started to see that I can block their shit with with like RFID blocking fabric and stuff like that, um, I knew that their system was flawed and these people are flawed and the shit that they do is just weak and everything that they represent is, is cowardly distasteful um you know and i was just like dude and we're you know why should we even bow down at all to these freaking weak ass people like i'm gonna do whatever I, it takes to help you know people to kind of grow and, and instead of kicking them when they're down and trying to make them feel uncomfortable when they're around you in front of other people like because that's what they try to do a lot is try to make you feel you know a certain way which i always call them out automatically and i'll end up making them look stupid but um yeah like it's i'm already over all that i've conquered all their little stupid ass trickery they you know they could they could think that they're you know winning or whatever they could think that as long as they want um we all know that they're not even the perps know that they're not gonna be able to win with me it doesn't matter what they do how far they get i'm gonna come back stronger than ever always and uh i got my stimulus check i got my income taxes done so i got money saved right now and i'm gonna buy me a car i got i got good credit you know what i mean whatever it's all right credit whatever it doesn't matter like either way i'm gonna get it done either way i'm gonna get what i want because i have the drive and i got the top dog backing me which is the most high, you know, so I'm not worried about nothing. Keep on fighting, keep on prevailing because the enemy is weak. He's not like a roaring lion. He's more like a roaring little kitty cat fucking meowing around because that's all they do is just fucking, you know, hit you with weapons from afar and pass by you, touch their hair and do stupid shit like that. That's that's who they represent, a coward. So don't be afraid of these pukes. All these weak ass people right here, they they, they ain't about shit. Um, and whatever they think that this program is about, you know what I mean? They they have a perception in why they do this or are supposedly shown something, which is a lie. And um, and a lot of people are telling me, you know, oh, you know, if if you if you had God or if you were a real Christian, that this couldn't happen to somebody that has faith. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. I doubt it. Sometimes people just go through this and you can't really do nothing about it. Just like Job, he served God and the devil was still able to get to him because God allowed it. Who knows? All I know is I trust in him. Besides, you know, if the, if the stars fall down, if the sun falls, I trust in him no matter what. So even though... I might not, uh, you know, at the time I might not pray to him or, you know, when I when I lay down and I rest my head and I'm thinking, I know that God is my savior and he's my king. He's the king of kings. And uh, and I just love I love him. You know, I love him. I love and I keep that love in within in my heart and my spirit. And I always remember to, you know, say my prayers at night or I try to at least. But I'm not perfect. I'm still working on it. I really would like to find a good church or, or a lot of or a few good Christians to study with or whatever. But, you know, hopefully when you keep on wishing for something or you keep on pers uh, pursuing that, it'll come. So, um, yeah, so this is just a little video i'm gonna do but it's already getting to the 30 minute mark but whoever stood and kept watching you know glory to god and uh hopefully these words strengthen you and and you got you know you got a friend here if you guys need anything just let me know and uh, i'll be there so yeah thanks for for sticking around